Welcome fellas and fillettes, I am Glokaze, and in today's video, if I touch a checkpoint in every single Sonic game, the video ends. First, Sonic the Hedgehog. Now for checkpoints, I feel like in classic Sonic games at least, they're way harder to like avoid them so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to do some magic here and I, I i don't know for classic sonic games the thing is i don't know where the locations are for all the checkpoints and i think it can jump over them and there's multiple ways to complete levels and stuff like that so what i'm gonna try to do is to, like see like right there there's a checkpoint so instead of going down or up there i'm gonna go down here take the bottom route instead so the thing is i can't go too fast because because the checkpoint is right there. Don't touch it. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So now for this game over here, I I see the thing is I can't go too fast because I don't know these levels like the back of my hand. So I thought that was a checkpoint right there, but I don't know these levels like the back of my hand. And since I don't, I have to go a little slow so I can avoid the checkpoints. Unlike I did with Sonic 1. That was a big mistake that I did right there. So like, I don't know, like can i jump over this and i'll be fine i think i can jump over it but let me see if i can actually get up here no i can't oh no maybe if i jump really high here maybe then oh wait i can actually jump oh wait i can jump over them so like in sonic generations you can't do that but in this game you can so that's great news so i can quite literally just jump over them now it's a matter of going slow as well as not getting a game over and that does not count as a checkpoint right there originally this video was going to be if i touch a spike but once i got to the modern sonic games it started getting oh my god i almost touched a checkpoint right there but once i got to the modern games for like spikes it just there was no spikes really I feel like spikes is more of a classic sonic obstacle let me go a little bit slow here but i feel like spikes are more classic sonic so if you guys do still want to see that video let me know because they're just i, I don't know maybe it maybe it was sonic adventure 2 specifically but i just did not see that many spikes in like the modern sonic games the one thing about avoiding checkpoints too is the fact that not only can i not touch them not and then I have to be careful when I fight boss fights and stuff like that because obviously I'm doing the level in one go basically. And as you guys know, classic Sonic games, you either complete the game in one sitting or you go back to the beginning. Because I'm not playing Sonic Origins, that game sucks, but we get through the first zone, Emerald Hill. And as the game goes on, the harder this will be because every level gets harder and for me at least, you know, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Classic Sonic, so since I don't know these games like the back of my hand, I'm gonna die. And every time I do play the Classic Sonic games, I do die and hopefully over here in Sonic 2 and once we do Sonic 3, if I die here, obviously we're gonna get through Sonic 3. But if I die here soon enough, or if I touch a checkpoint, I die. And that's the annoying part about this. Since I can't get any checkpoints, that just means that... Oh, I thought I, I, thought I got a checkpoint. I don't know why I thought the, the life, getting a life counter was a checkpoint. I forget that Chemical Plant Act 1 is pretty much just a, a freebie. It's Act 2 that I have to worry about. See, and that's the thing I'm scared of the most. We go extremely fast, and then we just jump into a checkpoint. Like, look how fast I'm going. So like if I touch a checkpoint, there's literally no stopping me right there. But luckily for us, we have not gotten any checkpoints so far. But I think there is one coming up here since we are by the purple water. Yeah, I know there's I know there's one coming up. I know there's one coming up. I don't know why I'm stuck, but I know there's a checkpoint coming up. Yes, there it is. There it is. There it is. Now we jump over it. And uh, excuse me. But like I said, this is where it does get dangerous because there is a very high chance of me dying in this part over here. And I absolutely hate that we have to com basically complete these levels in one go. And if I don't complete them in one go, then it's pretty much it's pretty much over for me because I only get three lives and my cat is invading my, my, my screen right now. Excuse me. Missy, move out of my way, sweetie. No, 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 no. Don't touch it. Next is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now, once we get past the classic games, that's when we should be able to actually get past some levels. I mean, we did pretty good in Sonic 2, but it's just a matter of knowing where the checkpoints are that killed me. And that's probably going to be a main part in Sonic 3 and Sonic CD when I get there. 
because literally the biggest problem I have right now is not knowing where the checkpoints actually are. So like me going this fast, like I'm probably going to end up like running into a checkpoint. So what I end up having to do is going extremely slow. And I know there's a checkpoint like literally right here. And I don't know how I'm going to jump over this one unless. Okay, that wasn't that difficult. See, like the hardest thing is to go slow in a Sonic game because if he, if I go fast, like, like that's the whole purpose of it. But like if I go slow, I'm just like. That's not how the game's supposed to be played, and it's so annoying. All right, but we get through Act 1, and I did not want to do a special stage, but it's fine, I guess. I think y'all lied to me. I can't use Tails. Y'all said to just spam the up button, but it's not working. Okay, I don't know if I'm doing this wrong, but I can't use Tails. I don't know if it's a me problem. I think it might be y'all lying to me, but I don't know. And I spin dash up here, and ooh! Oh, that was evil. Imagine if Tails could grab the checkpoint. If Tails could grab the checkpoint, that would have been, like peak evil oh my god wait can we even come down here okay thank god tails can't get checkpoints that would have been bad right there all right now if we die here there's gonna be a huge problem if we die here because we have not we do not have a checkpoint in this level so if we do die it's so over for us oh my god i should have said that but he was one hit anyway i got scared for a second because i lost all my rings right there all right now we're in hydro city zone in which, uh, hello, can I go? Anyway, now we're in Hydro City Zone. And hopefully, we don't die again. This level's not too... Anyway. Don't touch it! Next is Sonic CD. Now, after our unfortunate demise in Sonic 3, I'm hoping I can make a lasting impression in Sonic CD. I feel like for, like, 3D games in general, it's gonna be a lot easier to not get a- Don't touch it! What is good, everybody? Sonic Hub tapping in. We are back on Glokaze's channel as a featured guest. Make sure to go subscribe to him. So, I guess the, uh, the goal today is we're not gonna touch any checkpoints. I don't know how, uh, how far we can get without doing this. I genuinely feel like because it's a 3D game, I could probably get through the whole game without touching one. So we'll have to see what happens. Keep going, spin dash, spin dash. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, I almost just touched it, dude. There will be one right here. Go around it. Yeah, in a 3D game, I mean, how do you not touch a checkpoint? I think we could actually, oh, oh. Pretty sure we literally can just cheese the entire game without touching one, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll, we'll see. Oh, there's one right oh! Oh my god, bro! Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Adventure 2. Now, after Sonic Hub did his thing in Sonic Adventure 1, now we do our thing in Sonic Adventure 2. Luckily for me, I am very good at Sonic Adventure 2, especially at destroying the city of San Francisco. And this is the first game we're doing in Modern Sonic. I know we did terrible in Classic Sonic. I don't know why the Spin Dash isn't working. The one thing I've always disliked about Sonic Adventure 2 is the Spin Dash. The Spin Dash in this game is putrid. Whatever they did in Sonic Adventure 1, they should have left it because in this game, they pretty much ruined it. Like, the Spin Dash is actually my biggest turnoff with this game. And the other good thing is that we can quite literally just go around the checkpoints in 3D Sonic games, so... Getting checkpoints should not be the biggest concern. Now, similar to the classic Sonic games, there is a chance that I might forget where the checkpoints are in certain stages because I don't just replay them that often. Primarily because, well, we spend most of our time doing these challenges in the early stages of Sonic Adventure 2 because we usually fail in this game. So I don't have all the checkpoints memorized just for City Escape, but we complete the first level. Alright, after getting through some stages that have been- Oh my god, the audio for this level just continues to be so loud. Alright, and after getting a, through a couple of levels that had no checkpoints in them, now we're in Tails' level, which I am not actually sure if it does have a checkpoint in it. I'm not entirely sure if the Knuckle stages have checkpoints in them, but I know I didn't see any in the last one. But maybe in the later levels, they do. And I'm not actually sure if the Tails' level actually has a checkpoint either. Oh my god, there is a checkpoint. There is a checkpoint. I repeat, there is a check- no, there's literally no way to avoid. Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Heroes. Now, luckily for us, Sonic Heroes, we have a bunch of characters we can choose from. And the best character for this is probably going to be Tails, since we can pretty much jump over the checkpoints. I don't know why I wasn't able to go on that thing right there. But hopefully, we can avoid this checkpoint and land before it so we don't touch it. Oh, wait, did we touch it? Wait, I can't even touch. Okay, I don't think I touched the checkpoint right there, and I hope that... The characters can't get the checkpoints unless I am that character. So, like, if I'm Sonic, I hope Tails can get the checkpoint for me. <gasps> wait, wait, was that a checkpoint? No. 
I didn't even process that. I was... It was a checkpoint. God damn it, bro. That See, like, I get pranked to do stuff. So, like, right here, all you have to do is this, uh, a light speed dash. And, of course, I'm going to light speed dash. I wasn't thinking of a checkpoint that was going to be conveniently placed right after the light speed dash. Don't touch it! Next is Shadow the Hedgehog. All right, now, the one thing about Shadow the Hedgehog is that checkpoints are actually a major part of this game if you want to beat anything other than the neutral story mode. Because in the regular old hero story or the dark story, you complete everything at once or you take the checkpoints in order to go back and complete whatever the mission was. So in this case, for the... <laughs> Don't touch it! Next is Sonic the Hedgehog. See now, the thing about Sonic the Hedgehog is the fact that it is a 3D game. And 3D games are supposed to be easy, but I find myself touching a checkpoint on accident many different times. But there are also times where I could literally just do this. And there's also times where I could just go like this. And there's also times where I could- No! No, bro, what the- Dude, I literally, I was trying to do the purple gem, but it just wasn't letting me because I was pressing the wrong- Don't touch it! Next is the also glorious Sonic Unleashed. Now, I know what I said about 3D games, but I meant that more so for the adventure games because for the modern Sonic games, like the Boost era games, these games are a little bit too automated, which means that the checkpoints are going to be a lot harder to avoid. Especially because the majority of the game you have to spend boosting, as you guys can see right here. If we took this rail, we would have ran right into the checkpoint, but luckily for us, we can just go right past that one. Alright, now that we're in Act 2. I feel like Act 2 is actually going to be a lot more difficult than Act 1, because obviously in Act 1 there was one checkpoint. And in this level, I think there's three, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so now we're at our first checkpoint in which can't- Oh my god, wait, can we actually- Can we even get over this? Oh, <gasps> we can! I don't know how, but we did! Oh my god, there might actually be a checkpoint in 2D now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, <gasps> wait! We got past that one too, didn't we? Let me check, I'm gonna check. Ever so slowly. Oh my god, we can just jump over them. You see, because in Sonic Generations, at least, if you jump over the checkpoint, it'll still count towards you. Oh, oh, another one right there. Another one. See, like, I got Sonic Alicia memorized. That This game, I know it better than the palm of my hand. And there's another checkpoint up here, which we should be able to avoid. Yes, we can. I don't even know how. I don't even know how we avoided that one, but we did. And I was terribly mistaken because there is a whopping- WHAT?! 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 Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Colors. So now, I wasn't aware as to how handicapped I was about to be with Sonic and Luigi because we had a checkpoint quite literally every 15 seconds. Like, I jumped over it. I tried to jump over that one because I knew it was coming. But like, I think that section was like automated or something like that because I was spamming my jump button and it was not working. But I do have to be careful here because a lot of the checkpoints coming up are gonna be in 2D. At least for this level, I'm pretty sure the one that's coming is in... I literally can't avoid that! Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Generations. I'll be honest, I feel like the only game that we can wholeheartedly complete in this challenge is probably gonna be Sonic Frontiers. And that's primarily because you don't- I don't think you need to like play that many cyberspace levels in order to actually complete the game. So checkpoints in Sonic Frontiers don't take up that much of the game itself, but in other Sonic games, like this one or, or, or Unleashed, that's half the game. Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Lost World. Alright, now for Sonic Lost World, this is going to be an interesting game because this game also combines 3D and 2D Sonic. And the bad part about that is that with the checkpoints in 2D, no matter if you go over them, you'll still get the checkpoint, even though you're not technically touching it. See, that's the thing though, I don't know if I should count that or not, but like, we're too far in this video and I've already kind of done that. Even though we don't touch a checkpoint, I still got it, but like, I still counted it as like, touching it, so I don't know. Maybe I should have done that earlier, like, set that rule, like, early on in the video, but it's okay. I mean, we're already so far into this that it's honestly too late to make rules, and right there, I almost touched that checkpoint. But luckily, I did not. But we do get past the first level with flying colors. Now, this is where the problems arise. 2D levels. 
So, like, you can avoid them in Sonic Generations, but, like, Sonic Lost World, I have no idea if you can avoid them by literally just jumping over them. We're gonna see shortly, but hopefully you can just avoid them by jumping over them. All right, but there's a checkpoint right here, so we're gonna find out in three, two, one. Don't even touch it! You don't even touch it and you get it. Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Mania. All right, now we're in Sonic Mania, and this game may or may not actually be easy. We're gonna be finding that out very shortly once I actually run into a checkpoint in this level. But as of right now- See, like, the thing is- like, if I go slow in the classic Sonic games, maybe I do have a chance of not touching the checkpoint itself. It is just a matter- for classic Sonic games, at least, it's just a matter of fun- See, like, that's- the I did the exact same thing in Sonic 1! Don't touch it! Next is Sonic Forces. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. I hate playing this game. And the, the biggest reason is because of the Nuvu. I don't know what is up with this game. I actually just recently found this out. But the reason why my game runs at like, I don't know, like maybe like two frames a second for this game is because of the Nuvo. If you guys don't know what the Nuvo is, it's basically an anti piracing like software that Sega uses for their games. But it, it, it just like, all it does, it reduces your frame rate. It reduces everything, basically. Everything about it sucks. I don't know why Sega decided to implement the Nuvo for Sonic games. Like, uh, luckily for me, I got the checkpoint right there. Don't touch it! And finally, Sonic Frontiers. Now, with Sonic Frontiers, this is probably going to be the only level we need to worry about with a checkpoint, at least until Chaos Island. Because the only checkpoint in this level is that one right there. And technically speaking, now we just flash forward to Chaos Island because we quite literally have no checkpoints until then. Now, in Chaos Island, the one thing that's going to be very bad for us are the cyberspace levels, in which we do have to do in order to progress the story. All right, now that we have a gear, now we can move on to the cyberspace level, which I hope will not end this video. All right, see, now the thing with this level is that we have to complete all five missions in this level, which are get the rings, get the S rank, and uh, no! Ho! 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 Oh my god! Okay, we avoided one checkpoint right there, which is good. And I don't know where I don't know where the checkpoints like that's something I never think about really like where checkpoints are in certain levels and I know there's gonna be a, there has to be a checkpoint up here right no okay you gotta keep getting the rings as well I think we need like at least 60 rings for this level and I missed the red ring because I boosted instead of stomp stomping there's a checkpoint right here which I literally couldn't avoid what nah 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on so is there a way to avoid this checkpoint right here. There's not! Don't touch it! 